want to talk to you for a few seconds about clean and innocent lives. Our key verse is found in Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2, and really we're going to look at the whole passage during this week, but tonight I want to just focus in on verse 15, the second part of verse 15, where it says this, live clean, everybody say clean, lean over to your neighbor and see if they're clean, smells clean? The scripture says in Philippians chapter 2, 15, live clean, innocent lives as children of God, shining like bright lights in a world full of crooked and perverse people. Now, this year's theme for Flame On is on the front of your workbook. It's burn with the brightest flame. And that's what Flame On is all about. It's all about burning, right? It's all about burning brightly. You know, we burn with passion for Christ, don't we? We are filled with His Spirit. And because of that Spirit inside of us, our hearts are they're on fire. We, we have got to express this passion that we feel. We're burning inside with the passion of Jesus. And CMA Youth Movement, is all about changing young lives, one heart at a time. And the best, most powerful way to do that is when young people like you are burning with passion for Jesus. The best way to affect change in your school and in your family and in the motocross culture is people just like you who are on fire for Jesus. And that's why I want to challenge you to burn with the brightest. How do we do that? How do we, how do we burn so brightly? You know, how do we, how do people see us and, and realize that, that it's all just about Jesus, right? There's one simple little one sentence verse that really shines a light on how you do that. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 15. Live clean. Y'all hear me? Live clean. How do you burn brightly for the world to see? You live clean. You live innocent. And when you do that, you shine like a bright light, the Bible says, in a world full of crooked and perverse people. If you want to shine with the brightness of the Spirit of God in you, it's time to make the big decision. And the big action to live clean and live innocent. I mean, guys, the undeniable fact is that our world is getting worse and worse. Can I hear it? Oh, yeah. The culture that you guys live in is dangerous. And it derails our lives over and over again. And we wreck ourselves with dumb moves and bad decisions. And on top of all that, Jesus is in heaven waiting for the Father to tell him to come back to earth to grab the people that are ready. He's coming back real soon. So there is a huge urgency on you and I to start shining his light. Because this world is dark and nasty. And Jesus is coming back really soon. So we have got to start shining brightly. And we do that by living differently. Living different. Some of you guys have come to Flame On four years in a row. You've been rocking it out, man. That was a good time. Woohoo! Praising God and all that. But you still are living dirty. You got habits and issues in your life that you have not been able to win the victory over. It's true. Maybe tonight's the night make a big decision and a big action and start living clean and living innocent. Let me read to you from Romans chapter 13. Talking about the urgency that we have to live clean and innocent. This is all the more urgent, the Bible says in Romans 13, verse 11. For you know how late it is. The time is running out. Wake up! 
For our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is almost gone. The day of salvation will soon be here. Now look at this. So remove your dark deeds like dirty clothes. Take them off. Get done with it. And put on the shining armor of what kind of living? Right living. The Bible says, I'm going to pause right there. The Bible says, you want to live differently or burn with the fire of God? Well, then take off the dirty clothes of living stupid and put on the shining armor of living right. I'm ready to do that. I'm ready to take off my dirty deeds and live in the shining armor of right, clean, and innocent living. Look at verse 13. We belong to the day. We must live decent lives for all to see. So don't participate in the darkness of wild parties. Uh-oh. And drunkenness. Uh-oh. Or in sexual promiscuity. Yeah, it just sucks all the air out of the room. Or immoral living. Or in quarreling or jealousy. God's really clear about this. Those kinds of things, that's not clean and innocent living. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Instead, the Bible says in Romans 13, verse 14, clothe yourself with the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't let yourself think of ways to indulge your evil desires. You guys, clean and innocent living is like wearing a shiny, impenetrable coat of armor. When you live clean and innocent, it's like you are clad in plate metal. And people see the light that just bounces off of you. And you're able to withstand the enemy's onslaught. When you live right, you're wearing shining armor. You know, I'm just being honest. The problem is, a lot of us in this room, we're not really there. We're not really, we're not really there with clean and innocent living. Because our lives are kind of like this uh, chest of drawers. Y'all ever seen a, a, a dresser, a chest like this? Some people call this a bureau or a chest or whatever. This is this is this is a drawer. You probably have something like this in your in your room in your house. You guys, our lives are somewhat like this. You see, on the outside, this is a nice chest of drawers, right? It's, it's decent enough. And it looks clean, all that, and that's really good. It's got drawers, and you know there's stuff in there. But unless I open those drawers, you don't see what's in the drawers. And a lot of us are living our lives that way. We got stuff in the drawers of our lives that we don't want anybody to see, but they're in there. They're inside of there. They're like, you know, dirty, dirty socks. You know, and they're just you know filling up the the empty spaces of our lives. You know, and we think we think we oh, just I'm gonna shut this drawer. I'm gonna keep this all cool right here, and nobody knows that all this stuff is in my life. I'm I'm living a clean and innocent life, right? Put some dirty socks on there, dude. And, and and sometimes in our drawers, you know. We carry the the moldy the moldy bread of you know a relationship with God that we once had and it was okay, but but it's been a very long time and it's all moldy and stale, Whew. and it reeks, and that's that's what we have and we stuff it away in our drawers, right? And we shut the door and we lean on it and we go, hey, I'm clean and innocent. Problem is, moldy stuff in your life starts to stink. 
And it doesn't matter if you've got the drawer shut on your life. What's inside of you corrupts you. And it's not clean. And it's not innocent. What some of us need to do is make a really big decision to take the drawers and dump it out. Just let it be out there with God Almighty. Let me clue you in a little bit. He already knows, right? You might be hiding it, but he knows. And maybe it's time to take all the moldy, stinky stuff of our old life and open it up and say, God, here I am. I'm going to be honest with you, maybe for the very first time in a very long time. I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm going to come clean. I'm going to do exactly what you tell me to do when you say, confess your sins. And some of us need to, some of us need to take the dresser of our lives, right? You know, the, 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 the hiding places where we keep stuff away from God and keep stuff away so that people think on the outside we're clean and innocent. And we need to... Some of you need to make the big, giant decision tonight to rip open the drawers of your life and say, God, here I am. All the junk that I've been hiding, all the mess up, I'm being honest before you. Take my sins, forgive me, and let me start over. Bow your heads with me and walk across the room, would you? Holy Spirit, have your way. And let every single one of us, young and old alike, be honest. Call us, this generation, to clean and innocent living in Jesus' name.